Good evening, I'm Julie Williams. And I'm Mark Kiesling. Today marks the first time in a long time that masks are optional at many schools in Southern Illinois. That's because of a decision made by a state judge Friday. The ruling puts a temporary restraining order on COVID-19 mandates at Illinois schools. Now the judge says the mandates violate a parent's or school district's ability to choose what's best for children. Several districts in our area have already made masks optional. That includes school districts in Marion, Carterville, Heron, Murfreesboro, and Carbondale High School. Some local districts haven't made a decision yet on whether to change the mask policy. We have a full list on our website, WSILTV.com. The choice to make masks optional at Heron schools came after a long weekend of discussions. That's according to the district's superintendent. News 3's Danny Valle joins us live tonight outside of the unit office in Heron. Danny, that ruling is putting educators across the state in a tight spot. Mark, it really has. In fact, school administrators that I spoke to today say that they thought that the mask mandate would not be adhered to if they required the mask today. So they opted to make it optional for students and staff to wear masks. And well, and, and the superintendent Nathaniel Wilson told me today it is a win for school districts who feel they should have local control over mask vaccine and testing requirements. Wilson held several discussions this weekend with school attorneys and other administrators who argue the state has slowly taken local control from school leaders since the start of the pandemic. Wilson says those kinds of moves would benefit the state in certain situations. But in this case, Wilson says the blanket mandates don't apply to every community and argues districts should decide for themselves how they should move forward. We want to operate things here locally. What is it like in Williamson County and, and neighboring counties and as well as the local Heron community and neighboring communities? What, again, comes back to that local decision. I'm not going to say that I don't pay attention to the statewide numbers, but I'm probably more interested in what does our local numbers look like. And you may notice some of these mask required signs still up at Heron schools. That's because guests are still required to mask up before going inside. Masks are also required for students who use school buses or other modes of school transportation. And Wilson said he did not consult with local health officials, but he will continue to monitor local cases. I also asked him for an update on any of the number of cases happening within Heron schools. He said he would have an update by Thursday. Reporting live in Heron, Danny Valle, News 3.